Hey, before we get started, let me recommend you something. It's a THCC.name website, a hardware compatibility catalog. This is a place where you can find out if your hardware is compatible with an operating system you are going to use on that. Like if you are going to buy a new laptop, you can figure out if you can install and use your favorite Linux on that. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You can pick your vendor here, you can pick your device type here, you can search for your model. Yeah, there is my model here. And yeah, this device is already scored for some operating systems. If your device is not still here, you can add that yourself. And also you can score your device right here. All right, today we are going to have some displays, replacement, vandalism. We are going to do some strange things to ThinkPad X240, which has an HD display. As far as I know, it's never released as a full HD model, so some eBay sellers say that it's not possible to use a full HD panel in it. So let's see. Let me show you what it is. Uh, Ubuntu says it's an EDP connected panel and its resolution currently is 1366 by 768 and that is a top resolution for this particular display. What we are going to do? We are going to replace that display with something that really not fits this laptop. So switching the operating system off while it's switching off. Let's try uh, starting our disassembling procedures. Display here inside, which is connected with, I think it's 30 pins EDP. I'm removing this connector connection and uh, this is a 20 inches panel from. LG Philips LP125 WH2, which is, which actually should be uh, an IPS panel, and we are going to replace it with something incompatible and pretty big. This is a 17 inches display. Let's see what it is. It's an LP173. Really? 17.3 inches display. As you can see, it's just a little bit bigger than what we have what we had before you can see it's kind of bigger than the laptop itself but i think it should function let's see i'm going to connect it here Should perfectly fit. Yeah. 
all right so we have a display which is uh, kind of bigger than the laptop itself let's power it up and see what happens so it seems it should function yeah it even can change its resolution now and let's see what it shows on boot up and unfortunately I have to wait for a while to boot up the rating system so far so good so let's see what we have now it's still an EDP but the display resolution is now full HD so the last thing to check is if your brightness control works let's see yeah i can adjust my brightness so the display is fully compatible as you can see you can do an upgrade like this just in a few minutes and to finish the setup uh i don't know you maybe you maybe can use this sticky tape or something else just to attach a display finally to your laptop and uh, i'll tell you what there are very 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 few incompatible models actually if we're talking about uh, electronic components compatibility if your interface is of the same type, it will work, I believe, like 99.5% uh, so, since uh, the video mode provided by your EFI is almost always compatible with your panel. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch the display right on the fly without uh, switching the laptop off by the way don't try that if the display or laptop is costly for you since it's a bit dangerous for the laptop and uh, for the panel itself you can damage this parts easily so you better switch it off first and then do what you are what i'm doing right now so i'm switching it back to the panel it had before and let's see oops it's not working after that so you i believe you need to switch your computer off and on to make it working So we have to switch our laptop off and let's switch it on. All right, we have our old display running again. It's back in the system. Unfortunately, it was not possible to change the display on the fly since it was not initialized properly on the fly. It wasn't able to show you anything. Big. Let's see what it shows regarding the panel resolution actually all right it's now 1366 by 768 so we just upgraded it back thank you for watching and goodbye